Mahatma Gandhi stated that there need to be the change we wish to see in the world. Honorable Chief Guest, Deputy Speaker of Parliament, the inviting guests, panel of judges, teachers, students, and my fellow orators. Young people today do not have the same opportunities as young people of yesterday, unless they come from a very privileged background. Parliament plays a very major role of young people of today. Youth are to become the book the motto of tomorrow's economic takeoff and policies making. They should engage with young people as active citizens, architects of their own future. They should provide with quality, ed quality education, access to health services, and training support they need to obtain decent and sustainable employment. Policy makers should look beyond employment and education to address the fundamental inequalities young people face. Youth is not a homogeneous group, and certain young people are more affected by inequalities than others. Young people will be the instrumental in finding solution to the challenge of inequality. Today's youth, from the generation that has the best chance to end poverty, stop climate change, and ensure that sustainable development. Goal become the gain become reality, support, and solidarity from the elders can help them gain power, knowledge, and skill to achieve these goals. Parents, educators, policymakers, and the other leaders should early with young people in tackling norms and behavior that prevent us from our fundamental rights and building a more tolerant peaceful and least society. In a world that has witnessed a string of political uprising led by youth in recent years, governments, international organizations, civil society, and the private sector must better understand the ways in which inequality affects the life of young people. We must better understand effort to increase youth social and political participation, increase their access to employment and capital, and reduce the marginalization of vulnerable groups. We must also ally with youth to change social norms and behavior that keep young people, especially young women, from reaching their full, their full potential. When talented young people cannot afford to pursue a secondary or tertiary education, their talents are not nudged and the societies they live in suffer from a reduction in innovation and the loss of their potential contributors. Often, youth suffer multiple intersectional discrimination when their identities overlap, creating strong benefits to meaningful participation in society. The challenging situation can be largely attributed to the growth of extreme economic equality the world has seen in the last 30 years. The concentration of much of the world's wealth and resources in the hand of the few has heightened inequality between the young and old, with disproportionate effects on young people. Thanks largely to government outbacks that limit pensions and raise the retirement age, with also reduces opportunities for young people. Today's young people are the first generation that could act to avoid the worst effects of climate change. The youth are the, worst, are the driving seat of this change. I urge young people to lead and act with courage. We should seek to harness the innovative spirit of young people in addressing our development challenges. A window of opportunity will open for our new promises of development and prosperity. More than ever, it is time to improve investment in research, policies, and programs to create an enabling environment for youth to prosper, fulfill their potential, and enjoy their human rights and engage as a responsible social actor. In addition, a space was needed for young people to use their creativity and innovation. More generally, high rates of youth unemployment 
led to an increased tendency to believe that democracy is bad for the economy. That democracies are intensive and inefficient and that a rich leader can, do, can rule better. It is important to note, however, that unemployment is not only the factor that leads to youth employment, involvement in protest and violence. Society as a whole is worse off where there are high rates of youth, unemployment, reluctance to listen to youth voice, and serve lack opportunities for youth. Due to bias against the race, gender, or ethnicity, youth will face the consequences of the serious problems their elders have been unable to solve. The current generation of youth, particularly the poorest youth, will likely spend their whole lives struggling with the impact of failure of the world's governments due to curb carbon emission. In local communities around the world, the search for solutions, both practical and political, to living with climate change is increasingly falling to our new generation, to young people. We all have reason to give thanks for the numerous ways in which our lives are enriched when we learn from others through exchanging ideas and seeing life from others' perspectives. We grow in understanding and work more collaboratively towards a common future. This is a very special value in the insight we gain through the Commonwealth connections, share inheritance, help us overcome difference so that diversity is cause for celebration rather than division. These gatherings are themselves finding examples of our consensus and commitment can help to create a future that is fairer, more secure, more prosperous and sustainable. Work together to achieve this by creating channels through which goal, good ideas and cleaner ways of doing things flow from the government and people of all our country into continually renewed and refreshed common ocean of knowledge. It is an ecosystem of experience and expertise in which all give and all gain. To conclude, young people aren't just the leader of tomorrow. They are the leaders today. Their voices matter. The things they do not do now can have a tremendous impact to change the world, right? So here I stand, one girl among many. I speak not for myself, but for all girls and boys. I raise up my voice, not so that I can shout, but so that those without a voice can be heard. Those who have fought for their right to be treated with dignity, their right to equality of opportunity, the right to be educated. The leader of this country, they say, we are children, and the youth are the leaders of tomorrow, but tomorrow is never now. It is time that we, you, you turn tomorrow into today. I hope the future young people is harmonious, peaceful, no fights, people are tolerant to each other, and also hope that we can be one. Thank you.